Top 5 Best Custom Zombie Maps Number 1 Cheese Cubes So on this list, there will be no cheese cube, no Malibu drive, or no pistol tower defense. Basically, if it's a popular map, it will not be on this list. Now, not only is the concept of this video not creative at all, but all the lists that the people have made on the internet with this idea is not creative either. The, every list at least has cheese cube on it, and we need a list that doesn't have cheese cube on it. And, and this is, from my experience, the best maps that I've played. Now, number five, we have the zombies map CeeLo. CeeLo is one of the most creative maps as in this is basically a campaign game mode for zombies. This map is incredible. It has a whole storyline that actually makes sense. It has you do tasks that make sense to get to the end. It doesn't have you doing some random Easter egg that makes no sense. Everything you do is for a reason. Also, not only that, it's fully direction. You know what to do from the start. There's text on the screen that gives you the mission. And this map is just amazing. And now I'm trying to tell you guys about this these maps without giving details. I want you guys to be excited, right? But at the end of the map, it has one of the coolest features ever where there's a countdown and you have to survive a shit ton of wave of zombies and it gets real intense. And the longer it took you throughout the rounds to find those parts, the harder it is at the end to survive. Even though I've beat this map like 20 times now, I still go back to play this every once in a while because it is such a good map. Next up, we have Oil Rig. Oil Rig is actually a map that my friend and I actually found a few months back and we played it. And man, this map was surprisingly hard. And what makes the map so hard is all the doors in the map are very expensive so it makes it really hard to get loot and the zombie spawns are insane Robbio 9 and I had to restart like 30 times in the beginning of the game because we just kept on dying the map is incredible has an insane boss but the only downside to this map is that it has an easter egg that you're gonna have to look up to be able to complete to be able to get the stuff in the map which is the bad part about the map but what makes this map so replayable is once you learn how to do that the map is incredible incredibly challenging next up this was one of the first few maps that i ever played so i have a big nostalgic memory for this map right but overflow overflow is an awesome map where you start at the ground level then you drop down into a sewer and then there's ai that's actually shooting at you and trying to kill you now this map is so insane it's so big that i've played this map for three years and there's still parts that i have not discovered in this map and not only that but i've never beaten it, which is the reason why it's so replayable is because I keep on going back to try to complete this map and then I fail a few times I don't play for like you know six months and then I go back again trying to play it more it is a really fun experience and you definitely need to be playing this map and it's another map where the rounds keep on increasing the harder the map gets most base zombie maps that are actually made by Treyarch no matter how high the round gets the game doesn't necessarily get harder but for these maps since there's a mission of stuff you have to do to unlock certain abilities it makes it so hard to kill zombies and get those stuff unlocked if it's later in the round Ooh, now another nostalgic map this is the second map that i ever downloaded back in 2017 when i got my first computer but it's ugx cabin first off the map itself is incredibly hard the startup menu for this map is really creative and it looks awesome and it even has some text that throws shade 
hate at you. And then the best part is if you master it on easy difficulty, you can go to medium difficulty. If you master it on medium, you can go to hard and then insane mode. And the fact that this map has different modes that you can go on to make the map harder is what makes this map so playable. I've only beaten this map on easy mode and it was insanely hard. The map is surprisingly bare bones and it's another map that throws you on a mission. But the worst part about this map is that the directions, maybe I'm a bit slow at reading directions, but the directions weren't too clear on what you had to do in this map. So maybe it's just me, but you may not have to look up how to do anything with this map besides where the parts are. Now, I don't mean to sound like a stereotypical uh, top five channel, but before we go to the number one spot, we need to have some honorable mentions. <laughs> So first off, Octagonal Ascension. Now, I feel like everybody knows about Octagonal Ascension on Black Ops 3, which is a really great map, but I feel like Octagonal and World at War gets not as much love because it's way harder and it's a great map. I've never beaten the map before. I've been playing it for years. You should try it. Next up, Project Viking. Uh, I think this was the third Zombies map I ever downloaded, and it's really fun. Another map that I've yet to beat, and it it has an insanely awesome mechanic where after you turn on the power, it will cut off parts of the map by putting down shipping containers. The map is just very hard. <sighs> Number one, you guys are not ready for this. The best custom zombies map ever made is Collingwood. This map has a Mob of the Dead vibe, which is one of the most popular maps ever. Everybody loves Mob of the Dead, but imagine Mob of the Dead with World at War graphics. That's how good this map feels. It takes place in Insane Ward. Now, it's not like Baruch. It's crazier looking than Baruch. Not only that, it has an insane boss that's very hard to kill, and how the map works is there's a lot of doors. You have to open up maybe like 10 doors alone just to get to the box. So by the time the boss comes around, the only thing you have is if you're lucky is a B23R and maybe an MP5. I have not gone through this entire map. The farthest that I've ever gone is getting jug and then I would die immediately. This map is super hard. There's tight corners. There's a hard boss. I highly recommend you guys play this map. It is incredible. I've said incredible guys. <laughs> if you, if you count how many times I've said incredible during this video, I will, uh, I will, uh, uh, I don't know suck your toes. So comment how many times I've said it below but Collingwood you need to play it I'm not gonna give any more details because you need to experience these for yourself Which is another thing everybody does in these top fives. They give away all the information in the maps uh, I don't want to do that to y'all But anyways guys if you did enjoy this type of video Make sure to leave a like and comment if you've played any of these maps before and maybe you can vouch for it Saying how good of a map it is and if you have any opinions on custom maps that aren't popular but deserve deserve more recognition comment those too because i'm trying to find more personally myself i played like every single good custom zombies map to my knowledge but anyways guys thank you so much for watching i enjoyed this video and i love you all i'll see you in the next one peace